What techniques are used in detecting jammers? Hello and welcome. Today, we're delving into the exciting field of signal jamming and the sophisticated techniques that are used in detecting jammers. Jammers, by definition, are devices that interfere with wireless communications by blocking signals in a specific area. They can disrupt a wide range of systems from cell phones to GPS and Wi-Fi networks. Detecting these devices can be challenging but is vital for maintaining reliable communication networks. What is a jamming attack? In a jamming attack, the jammer broadcasts a signal that conflicts with the communication signal, thereby disturbing the receiver's ability to identify the original signal. As a result, the receiver experiences a signal blackout or severe degradation in signal quality. How are jammers detected? Detecting jammers involves identifying anomalies in signal patterns. These anomalies can often be attributed to the presence of a jamming device. The following are some commonly used techniques for jammer detection. 1. Spectrum analysis. In this method, the communication spectrum is analyzed to identify abnormal signal activities. If a large, unexpected spike in signal strength occurs, this might indicate the presence of a jammer. 2. Time domain analysis. This involves examining signal characteristics over time. Unusual fluctuations or instabilities in the signal might suggest jamming activity. 3. Machine learning techniques. Machine learning can be used to predict normal behavior of the signal and thus recognize anomalies when they occur. This method is highly effective and increasingly popular in detecting complex and intelligent jammers. 4. Signal strength monitoring. The strength of the received signal is continuously monitored. If there's a sudden and inexplicable drop in signal strength, it might be due to a jammer's activity. What happens after detecting a jammer? Once a jammer is detected, the system will often switch to a backup communication channel or use anti-jamming techniques like frequency hopping, where the signal quickly changes frequencies to avoid being blocked. The location of the jammer can also be determined through methods like triangulation, which can then be used to disable the device physically. That wraps up our introduction to jamming detection techniques. Understanding these methods is key to developing more robust communication networks and safeguarding our connectivity in this digital age. Whether it's through the classic spectrum analysis, time domain analysis, or the more modern machine learning techniques, detecting and neutralizing jammers is an ongoing battle in the realm of communication technology. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. Stay tuned for more insightful content.